much to keep steering. Uh, Jamie and Andy first, just raise your hand and we'll get uh, Amy Elizabeth and Mike for it to you. So first questions for players first. Uh, Jamie, that was uh, some atmosphere out there. How much did you enjoy the match there? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, from the first point to the last, the crowd was uh, was something else. Uh, you know, as I said on court, it's a huge, uh, you know, privilege to be able to to play with Andy in Scotland and uh, have that amount of support behind us. Um, you know, we played a we played a great match. I mean, we had to. Those guys are playing really well too. Um, you know, we knew that they weren't going to kind of shy away from the from the occasion, the atmosphere, and um, you know, I think we should be really proud of the way we played and competed from from start to finish. And uh, you know, it gives us some momentum now back in the tie going into tomorrow's matches. Just staring. I know, I know, it's unbelievable. I like it. Uh, Andy, uh, how difficult was it to uh, get back on court less than 24 hours after the five-hour match? Yeah, it was tough, obviously. Um, yeah, and in doubles, you know, obviously there's not there's not as much running. It's just you know you need to be very very sharp, and you know some of the the ties last year. Uh, after I played maybe a tough match the the first day or when I was coming in a bit tired like after Wimbledon and and stuff um, after the US Open last year as well I started quite slowly in the match so wanted to make sure I tried to get off to a slightly quicker start today which which I did and we went up four or five love in like 15 minutes so that was good um, Andy how was it a tough decision to play or did you as soon as you woke up did you think no I'm, I'm okay to play and, and how are you feeling now uh, yeah, it was tough because I didn't know how I was going to feel when I woke up. Um, and then, yeah, just saw my physio th this morning and she checked, you know, some of the things that he checks when, you know, if I'm not feeling great or feeling tired. And, you know, he said, you know, I was looking decent, um, you know, considering the match yesterday and, and that was it. Were you surprised that they put uh, Juan Martin into the team and did it mean some last minute adjustments for the two of you in what you were going to do tactically? Um, I, I wasn't too surprised that, that he played. Um, you know, they obviously wanted to, to try to finish the, the tie today and that, you know, would have given them the, the best chance. You know, one's their, their best player on, on the, this surface. Um, but it's a positive, obviously, that he played now, that we won the match. Um, you know, had they won, everyone would have said it was a great decision um, for him to play. But, you know, the positive is that we won and we're out on the court for three hours or so. And, you know, whoever, if it goes to the fifth, fifth rubber, Whichever one of our guys plays will be feeling fresher, that's for sure. Um, Andy, as it stands now, I mean, that was another two hours, 55 um, minutes. Do you feel you've got enough left in the tank for sort of one last push for your own singles? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think... Um, oh... No, I'll give it my, my best effort tomorrow. I mean, whether I win or not, I don't know, but I can definitely guarantee I'll give, give my best effort to win and hopefully I can and makes makes it interesting um, if it goes to a fifth rubber. But, you know, I'm not going to be the fresher of the players that are going into the match. I'll, I'll be tired and I have to accept that and deal with it. And... Um, you know, try and play the match on, on my terms, if, if possible. Andy, you know, considering all the, the tiredness issues, could you have asked for a better partner today for a match like that? And can you sum up Jamie's part in the in the victory? Yeah, I thought Jamie played great from, from start to, to finish. Um, you know, made a lot of r returns. Um, throughout the whole match so it was making them work hard all of the all of the time um, you know when I struggled during the 
the second, the beginning of the third set, you know, he he stayed on, he stayed right on it, um, you know, which which was great. And then, um, you know, it wasn't really until the middle of the third, fourth set when I started to, to play well and starts returning really good and, you know, volleying better. So, um, you know, there was there was a tough period there in the, the second and third set, but you know we stayed strong to, together, and that's what we needed to do today. We spoke about it before the match, and that's that's what we did, and we we deserve to win. Andy, what what were the logistics of yesterday getting over that the longest match of your your career? I mean, when did you get back to the hotel? How much sleep did you get last night? What time did you wake up and make the decisions about your fitness? Um, I, I mean, I can't remember the times of when we got back to the hotel. We obviously stayed for Kyle's match and then left probably 20 minutes after that one finished. And then when I got back, uh, I spent probably about an hour with my physio. Um, I'd already done some stuff here as well after my match for like the first hour and a half of Kyle's match. I was doing some work with him and then... Uh, and then I ate, went to sleep probably just after midnight and woke up at about 9.30 and then came in here, I don't know, we left the hotel at about 11 o'clock and saw the physio and then decided I'm just going to give it a go. Jamie, there are always very emotional occasions up here in Glasgow for the two of you, but how hard was it for you to switch from playing your respects yesterday to, to playing today? And are there times when sort of playing sport can almost help with those kind of situations because you have another focus? Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a tough week for, for us, but I mean, look, we just had to try to, to park it for the, for the afternoon and um, yeah, focus on what we needed to do. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things you have to go through in life and it's not easy but you know it is what it is and you know I think we did a good job today of, uh, of getting out there and, and performing well and, and fighting as hard as we could and uh, you know I mean, we deserve to win in the end I think. Um, Leon s similar uh, question for you about were you were you surprised given that sort of Del Potro will be running the anchor leg tomorrow that uh, he was put out there today? Uh, no, similar to Andy, I, I don't think so. I think uh, I would imagine he's probably expressed to their captain that he would like to go out and play. They probably thought they had a good chance um, to try and tie it, tie it up. But uh, yeah, as, as, as the guys have said it, you know, it does mean that he's had a few more hours in his legs. Um, so if we can get that win in the, in, in the first match, then it's up to whoever goes out for us to try and make him work as hard as possible. Leon, what, was, um, what is Kyle's frame of mind after Friday and what will be the factors that will uh, dictate your decision as to who plays that fifth rubber? Uh, on the first part, yeah, I mean, Kyle will learn from that experience again and look at the things that uh, he needs to keep improving because every best of five set match is an opportunity for, for him to do that um, and then yeah then we'll talk about it I mean, I've got a good idea obviously in my own head what's going to happen and I'll talk about it as a, as a group tonight and let the players know what's happening uh, as early as possible so we can get on with pre preparing for it and doing all the timings and chats that we need to do before tomorrow Hey, Leon, could you just put this into context with other kind of, um, you know, other matches, other ties that you've had previously? Obviously, Russia and Coventry in 2013. How does this compare to, you know, the, the shift in momentum and dynamics in that that occasion? Uh, well, it's obviously very difficult. I mean, Argentina, when you go two up on a Friday, are clearly in the driving seat, um, but then. You have to then just go on on the Saturday, and when you've got Andy and Jamie that can go out and put in a performance like that. Obviously, last night it was very you know it's difficult. Everyone's drained, none more so than the players. Um, but 
when you see a performance like that, especially when you're at home and the crowd are absolutely fantastic, um, it raises everyone's spirits and you're, you're still alive in the tie. Uh, but, you know, it's a very, very difficult tomorrow, obviously, because of the quality of the opposition. Um, so, but we have to start with, obviously, Andy's match and, and support him as best we can. And, uh, and hopefully, if he can get as, as a point, then, yeah, then it becomes interesting. Leon, it's, it's after the event now, but if, if Andy hadn't pulled up OK, who, who would you have put into the doubles today? Oh, we, we can be pretty open. That. Ever, ever had prepared for that and had done a bit more double sessions through the week. So that's how it was, uh, was going to shape up. Thanks. <laughs>